Just me getting orc slayer what ifs. Mario last left off. Let's see chick chick chicking. For Deku and Bell what if? Well, thanks to information gathered by... Gathered by, uh... Gathered by the freelancers, uh, Todoroki and Eyes, that had essentially gathered the information saying that Muscular is going to be at this place working out an arms deal, or a deal, some sort of deal with the, with a group of people. And that he has apparently a, a lot of, like over a hundred or so Krogan with them. As they qu were questioned about how they got this information, it's just sort of like rumors that this, like, a Krogan has gotten a lot of... A Krogan has gotten hundreds of Krogan behind them. As, with that being heard, Deku, Baku, and them, like, well, the gang, the Onyx sentries pretty much got into action. As, like I said beforehand, they switched a lot of the places that they protect into pretty much primarily mech like uh with the onyx skirmishers which is the mechanized robots they use deku and them are coming with like the big guns they got several of the like essential like uh tank things very similar to apcs they got gunships they got and they ha the ships that they fly are automated by a lot of robots that do like repair and maintenance since they're, like, given a bit more intelligence than the average robot. And their AIs are advanced as well, as they've been taught by May to how to adapt to certain situations. As she... It's essentially like the Chappy bots, in a way. Where, like, she can upgrade them all over by having a single one watch her as she works on something as they take that information and spread it around themselves she's adapted the guest network to work with singular things as none of them have by her account show true intelligence as like skirmishers will sometimes on the on their own be completely effective like squads of soldiers as they target Using like collective targeting and assistance, along with the robot, with the recovery bots, and even like the heavy hitters, like the uh, what were they called? The the heavy skirmishers or something along those lines, where they have heavier armor and heavier weapons, pretty much being like similar to a heavy weapons group. As the skirmishers are pretty light armored, but they're still extraordinarily tough. They also got attack dogs, like little attack robots and such that look like dogs with tasers. The whole works. As Bakugo has, like, talked with the Krogan chieftain, as Bakugo, as each of the main cast that we have at the moment has a name. Uh, Ida's, like, chief taskmaster, something along those lines. Well, Deku's chief commander, essentially. Like, he's in usually wherever he goes. If it involves, like, a fight or, like, a commanding a group to attack or defend a place, he's the one in charge. Uh, Bakugo's, like, chief battle master, which a battle master is, some, is a Krogan that's in charge of another group of Krogans. Not, like, to the size of clan, but, like, individual squads and such. He's referred to as Chief Battlemaster, being the commander of all the Battlemasters. Uh, Uraraka is like a chief, uh... Sorry, uh... I forget what they're called, uh... But she's essentially, like, helps everyone with their... Psionics? Psionics? Or something, whatever they're called. And, uh... He does, like, a chief trainer, or something along those lines. Kaminari's chief sharp, like sharpshooter and kirishima is uh i think i said kaminari and kirishima is uh <laughs> chief conqueror or assault like chief of assault or something along those lines where he's mainly in charge of attacks that inquire taking an objective or something like very specific like that 
as Deku and all of them are coordinating right now, as they each have their own little ship that they're on. Deku and them are flying to the planet that Muscular is supposed to be on, as they arrive into the system very quietly trying their best to remain undetected, as with their sensors they're able to detect a couple of ships. <sighs> Uh, several, like, several smaller ships around the same size as theirs. So Deku and them are, like, gearing up as Deku says, all, all ships prepare to get into, get into Formation Alpha. As Formation Alpha is, like, a pretty much standard V-shaped formation. With the capital, you could say, like, uh, in the middle between all of them, like, their capital ship, which is just the ship that can hit the hardest, as it's like a uh, Deku's that has like some of the like heavier weapons and such, as the rest of them are pretty m heavy weapons and medium weapons are what Deku ship has, and the rest have like medium and light ranged weapons, sort of stuff. They don't have any fighters or anything, so that isn't a thing. As it's like, so you think we can take them, Ba Deku? Is what. One of the, like, pilots and such are saying, Deku says, all ships. <sighs> As he has learned a bit after, like, researching several years, like, like I said, he, it has been a large time skip. As Deku has, like, acquired some time to, like, research things. As he's speaking with, uh, Bell about, like, him, like, landing on the planet with, Kirishima and Bakugo to assist in the first assault. As an Ida and Kaminari will come down afterwards as Deku maintains sort of a thing over the ships, helping them along the way. He is no by no means by like a master stra he is a very good strategist, as he is in My Real Academy. But I wouldn't say he's like the best. Like there may be a few people out there that could beat him. But Deku remains very calm and confident as he still wants that burning revenge that he wants against Muscular for hurting his mother. So as he gives the ship's formations like, all vectors go, as like the ships like get to like a higher percentage of power. As immediately like with Muscular on the planet as it's like good, as in from orbit it's like, boss we're under, as like that ship immediately just goes off after. As they were off guard and their shields were down. As immediately like sh a couple of ships are pulverized. As the remaining three try to get into formation again. Or into like sort of trying to get down to the plant. Several boat like all of them are in like damaged severely. As Deku says the ships are down send all forces forward. Over like a radio it's like as everyone's like all ready and they're like drop ships and such. They got, like, uh, I believe it's called the Makos, which are pretty much, like, like, are similar to APCs. As they got several of those ready to go as well. They got skirmishers ready to deploy in, like, mass. They are ready to launch, like, an entire thing against them. As Muscular gets on his ship and starts heading out after grabbing the cargo. And the other group tries getting in their ships as well. But Deku orders half of the ship, like, uh, I believe I said they had, like, five, maybe six ships in total. Maybe seven, even. I don't know, entirely. They got a number of ships ready. As he orders several, a few of them to go after the, the other ship, as he and his group go after Muscular. That's just like, they're making their way to the Mass Effect field. Deku says, oh, leave several Ida, Ida and Kaminari. Your ship is going down there. Me and the rest up here are going to pursue Muscular. As it's like, Deku, wait. As he's like, there's no time to explain. We're going after, I'm going after him now. As they all like fly down there pretty quickly. As there was a large group there. Muscular did leave around like several, uh, several Asari. He even had Geth with him. It's like, how did he has Geth? Which is a thing Saren has been known to work with. 
as Deku is like pursuing muscular with a large group, like with two ships and like loads of so like with loads of troops on bo with loads of skirmishers on both ships, along with like several officers that and like normal grunts you could say that were ordered to remain just in case they got boarded or something like that. As Deku and the ships follow muscular, as it's like. Everyone get on the ships! As after like a uh, several hours of battle, they all get on the ships and head after Deku and them. As they got like a tracker on the ship, as it is like, it looks like as they say, one of the ships just went down. As when they're flying after them, it's been like uh, several weeks, several months since the beginning of Mass Effect One. Take that into play, I believe. I believe I did say that. So, as they arrive at. What was the planet called? The There's a planet where Saren has been working on a cure for the Genophage. Where essentially they're just cloning a bunch of Krogan. Or making a bunch of Krogan in the tanks. And like they're referred to as tank breads. Or the ones that were with muscular. As Deku pursued them. He realized that there were several Geth ships. As it's like what the... As immediately, uh, several gas ships start attacking him. It's like, pull out! We're pulling out! As it's like, there's no time, sir! As they're like, we're going down! As they start crashing. As Bakugo and them, like, start their pursuit as they try to arrive. So when they arrive, like, the ship is, like, in, like, the first ship is in pieces. As Bak Deku and them, like, went crashing to the earth. As immediately, like, after that, like, several Geth dropships and even Muscular himself went after him as he spoke with Saren. Deku and them were like, dang it. As over the cons, they're like, hello, hello, this is STG, STCG, Special Task Group, the STG, there we go. Like, says, hello, is this the council? It's like, no, this is the Onyx Centuries. Who is this? It's like, I'm Captain... Dang it, I forgot his name. Captain... Something. I would just refer to him as Captain. This is the Captain of the STG that you are talking with. Who is this? This is Chief Commander of the Onyx Centuries. Who do you need? What do you need? He's like, well, we thought you were with Council Space. He's like, nope, we came in pursuit of a different goal. We got wrapped up in this. It's like, who are you work we're looking for? Muscular, a Krogan warlord, or ex-Krogan warlord, that's been hampering our operations for years. As he's like, now if you don't mind, I got a battle to fight. As he's like, wait, if you can fly over to us, we could assist you. He's like, no. Hey, as he speaks to him, are there any anti-air guns in this location? As he's like, no, but there are some in ours. As he's like, all right, we'll try to get over there if we can. They fly up and fly over there, landing, attracting the group of several guests and such. As they land, they immediately start, like, fortifying the position to even more than it was beforehand, like, when Shepard show up. As they got dozens of Onyx mechs and such, as soldiers have command of it. He's like, so, I take it you're a primarily mech-based mercenary group? No, we launched and came after Muscular with, like, almost everything we had. We're ending him today, whether we die, whether, several, like, even if it takes a quarter of us. He's been hampering our operations too long. As he says, tries to get in contact. Bell. Bakugo. Anyone else there? Like, damn it. So what's your d deal here? It's like, we are here to destroy this gr this facility, but it seems we were outmatched by the amount of guests. Like, well, it doesn't matter. We'll stay here and defend the position, knowing my group. He's like, I gotta warn them not to come in here. It's like, why? That, the ships, like, we got swarmed by Geth ships as soon as we entered the system. It's like, how many are you? It's like, uh, like, we got like, uh, four, maybe five coming through the way. I don't know. Like, well, that may be enough to help us. As they're, like, thinking about this. Eventually, Shepard and his team start showing up. So they cut their way through the facility. As Deku 
like when he's like who are you as they like meet up with Shepard as like Shepard like comes along the way eventually like who as he's like hello I'm with I'm Shepard with the Alliance military with the council as Deku says Shepard I remember that name as he walks over he's like you're that specter. As then he like notices your face. And you're that guy we pulled his ass out of the fire on Elysium. As he le lets out a laugh. He's like, wait, Deku? He's like, I thought, wait, why are you here? He's like, I came in pursuit of a... As he gives the whole spiel and Shepard give his whole spiel. Well, me, this group should be catching up with us anytime soon. But it's either they're being delayed, taking more cautious routes, or they were intercepted by the Geth fleet. I don't know which one gives me more comfort. Like, well, we should, as it, like, after that, they get, like, a buzz on the thing. As they get the whole Clo Krogan facility and such. As Bakugo and them, like, had arrived very shortly after... As, like, when everyone was getting settled in, the Normandy had landed and, like, left a bunch, like, all the crewmates that Shepard had brought on along the way. And he has, like, everyone's loyalty mission. My Shepard's, like, a paragon. As with Deku and, like, Shepard talking about his, well, not Deku and Shepard, well, Deku and the captain, I forget his name, captain, like, are discussing a strategy where Deku and his troops can actually assist highly and then they like get reports that as it's like Deku as it's like over the comms hey Deku we're ready we're in the system we can we're ready to help as it's like hey guys get up as he's like they can land and give us assistance but we need to take down those anti-air but even then I don't know if we could stand against the gas fleet as Shepard then says what about Sovereign or what about the Reaper ship? Deku's like, Reaper? How's a Reaper? As then he gets the Reaper, he's like, Really? Hyper advanced, well, shit, it's a ship that the Geth, unlike any we've ever seen. Hmm. So, hmm, this could be trob problematic, is what Deku says. <sighs> Oh, uh. as Deku and them are as Deku's talking they get and even Bakugo like after they make a daring like landing after like Deku like led an attack like with Shepard and such to take out the anti-air and they're like, like around them as Geth immediately start Geth and Krogan tank bread start swarming that and Deku and them pretty much ran away in Muscular's eyes, so he's in pursuit of them. As with several ships landing down on the surface, and like hundreds of troops at their disposal, like, alright, we can take down the ship, alright? As they like get the whole thing about the genophage being cure, and Bakugo and the Krogan with them do not like the sound of blowing up this facility. As Rex makes a stand, as Bakugo says, yeah, well, Bakugo really doesn't have that much care for it. Like, it's a thing that's in the way of, like, them succeeding and them possibly dying. But the Art Krogan start rising up against them. As Bakugo says, get yourselves in line, grunts. As Rex says, you're a Krogan. Why wouldn't you want this cure? It's like, tank bread. Well, Krogan. It was the entire reason with our population, or reason why we were two so rapidly that nearly got us extinct the first time imagine what the rest of the galaxy would do if they heard that we had this kind of technology they would probably exterminate us for good as well as the fact think about this these things are no more the slave to sarin and muscular most likely when we were fighting them on that first battlefield they literally threw themselves at us no regards for their own life any living creature knows to protect itself first and foremost. As he says that, that's where he makes his point. And as the other Krogan are trying to make a fuss, Bakugo still tries to shut them up. As then, well, the whole, like, like, uh, I forget what the word is. Pretty much a standoff between 
Rex and Shepard occurs. Deku and Bakugo are like the the main trio that's in charge of the Onyx Sentries are trying to get control over the Krogan. And it's like, all right, that's final. As with that final thing, one or two, well, not one or two, actually, scratch that. Like, they all fall in line as they get the whole hold the line speech from the captain. And it's just like, Deku, what's the plan? As Deku had finished talking with them, we're going to swarm the facility. Rush in, rush, rush in, uh, get out, get on the ships, fly off. That good with everyone else? As it's like, yeah, we're good. As when, like, everyone's on the ships, they immediately, like, as soon as Shepard and them go through that thing, Deku and them, like, led a frontal assault against the, like, facility with, since Deku and them had Makos and such, it was an actual fight instead of just, like, several squads against one group. As Deku and them, like, destroyed, like, the defenses, eventually it's like, alright, get out, as everyone loaded on the transports and flew out of there. Anyways, with that being said, Deku and them made off world safe and sound. After speaking with Shepard and the STG some more, talk about how we couldn't find muscular in that damn facility. He, we got, I'm gonna find him, is what Bakugo says, and end him. It's like, not without us, you aren't. Did you guys see anything about muscular? It's like, probably bailed out, or he's with Saren right now. As Deku says, all right, Shepard. Shepard, do you know where the Saren character is? He's like, we got, we don't know. We're about to go check in with Alliance or the Council. It's like, all right, you tell us and we'll back you up if we can. As they like make their way to a place to like unload a lot, of, like unload or like refuel and such. As they get a call from Shepard, essentially saying, we're grounded. We won't be able to get off the Citadel. I was like, wait, what? As it's like, they're canceling our permission to fly. As Deku and them say, what, wait, do you have information where he is? And he's like, he's on a planet called Ilos, I believe is the planet's name. As it's like, maybe there. We don't know what you'll find there. There's a chance. He's like, we'll try to get over there. You guys try to get out of that situation. We'll start heading over there waiting for you at the Mass Effect Relay. Got it? As it's like, yeah, thanks for your support. It's like, it's no problem, Shepard. After all, we pulled you out of the fire once. Might need, be, might need to be there again to pull it out again. Though, to be fair, you're a Spectre now. You're a special agent, as he makes a, that... As they, Deku makes that... Well, Bakugo makes that comment... As it's like, thanks. As they've like tried to get like more resources, as several mechs, like dozens of mechs, and they lost several people in the assaults to get and such. So they're either in med bays, as they're like, all right, one of the ships will have become a medical ship. Have most of the recovery bots focus on that ship. We'll go with Shepard and such as they land. They find Shepard and it's like, all right, this way, as they make their way. As Sovereign and such, I can't remember exactly when, like, Saren, but Deku and them, like, wait on the outskirts as they're dropped in. As it's like, Saren's making his way as, like, over that period of time, Deku and them hear the whole, as they actually got into Kant, like, they're, for some reason, they were able to keep a, like, establish a link with Shepard. Thanks to uh, May's like superior programming technology, even compared to the Alliance and Turian military, she's exceptionally good. As it's like, yo, Shepard, you there? As it's like, yeah, yeah, Deku, we're, we're there. As Bell says, anything down there? Like me, me and the freelancers can come down and assist you if needed. It's like, no, we'll figure out from here. All right. Shepard over and out as it's like, all right, as they're just waiting there for anything. As then it goes on with Shepard, like Shepard and them fighting through the facility as a Geth ship or two notices them as it comes flying at them. As it's like, we got Geth ships fire at will as they start firing upon the Geth ships. 
like taking down a couple of them with receiving damage to their own ships as it's like guests are really advanced this sucks as the normandy is like hiding as it's like sorry guys for making you take the brunt of that it's like we're meant for this as eventually shepherds like they're, they're gone as they like get the whole transport away as it's like they too like deku and them heard the thing transmission from the uh the ilos ai i believe the planet's called ilos but i'm not entirely sure there are a lot of planets in that game that have a lot of weird names so i'm going with the first name that comes to mind which i'm pretty sure it's ilos but like i said not entirely sure as Deku and them, like, hear about Shepard and them, just, like, the whole thing about the Protheans. And the, and then they're like, we gotta go as they use a the little teleportation relay and get onto the Citadel. As it's like, where'd they go? As it's like, alright, everyone, all force, as they're, like, speaking with Joker and such, saying, we gotta turn this boat around and go after him. It's like, wait, what do you mean? It's like... Listen, if there's anything, they're gonna be on... They're, that thing's probably heading towards the Citadel. That's what the robot said. So let's get over there. As they start flying, like... T as they, like, turn their ships around and use the Mass, re mass Effect relays to get there. And try to, like, get the Alliance military to come with them. As that's where I'm gonna end this one off at. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Hope y'all continue to enjoy it. I'm gonna go make the fifth part of the Dragonborn What If, and I hope you all have a nice day, nice night, nice life.